With crime reaching epidemic proportions in some American cities, Miami, Florida is taking a new approach to help victims heal their wounds. Tonight, Sylvia Villagran reports on a new art form that is truly imitating life. These are the gritty images of crime we're accustomed to seeing on the mean streets of Miami. But now, a radical new crime-fighting experiment is underway in Miami. It brings together criminals and victims of violence to create art. This painting represents the crime situation from the victim's point of view. It's called Art Against Crime, and it was created by Dina and Stu Stewart. Their hope is to rid the city of violence through understanding. With the perpetrator, once they meet the victim and understand the suffering and what they experienced, a sense of compassion develops tolerance for other people and their vulnerabilities. I think it's great because so people can see things from my point of view. Alex James describes his paintings of a brutal killing. Two friends got in a little trouble with, had an argument with another guy and the guy came back and killed him. Saul Gersh has been mugged twice. He's a believer in the Art Against Crime program. He realizes in doing something in this project, by being able to express his art, that maybe there's something he can do that's worthwhile. If he had a chance to become an artist, he'd rather do that than go out mugging people. Dimitri Spencer says that for him, this program has painted a whole new way of looking at life, and he likes what he sees. Basically, nobody don't need to be in jail. There ain't no place for nobody to be at. You know, I should know I've been there before. First, Stewart and Dina have kids and seniors tell their stories then write them down and finally draw them. In fact, they say they'll come to your neighborhood and help you start your own program. Barry? Thanks, Sylvia.